Hi friends, welcome to another video on Dr. Fountain Pens and uh, this time the review is of a uh, English uh, uh, pen maker brand Lapis Bard. The pen has been kindly uh, sent by William Pen which is a multi-brand fountain pen retailer. Uh, I'd say pen retailer as well as they have uh, uh, accessories uh, which, um, um, which are also there along with this. Um, and these are basically through online retail as well as brick and mortar stores. Um, um, in major metropolitan cities of India. So uh, this pen has been uh, sent solely for the purpose of review and it will be gladly sent back uh, after uh, um, after I, um, uh, I have reviewed this particular model. Um, I am reviewing a Lapis Bard Contemporary. Um, this is a black metal uh, pen with uh, rose gold trims. The pen uh, has been packaged really well um, and they're they're pretty serious about their packing, which I realized last time. So this is a outer um, outer black colored uh, cardboard sleeve, um, which also bears the branding of Lapis Bard, and a very good embossed silver um, silver tone color on this. And there you see the Lapis Bard, a very very good bluish colored uh, uh, box, which they generally. Uh, have their pens housed in and the last time also I, I, I think the color of the box uh, every time is the same and last time also I had received the pen in a brilliant um, blue colored box you have a lapis bud uh, logo as well as the branding embossed on that otherwise um, it's not adorned uh, pretty heavy and there you have the pen you see lapis bud uh, mentioned here as well pretty serious about their packaging I must tell you and um, very smooth inner lining to that um, the pen has come with a complimentary uh, leather pouch this is a genuine leather case um, from William pen I had purchased a few pens earlier and I um, uh, I got this uh, leather pouch from them from the lapis bud last time but I've, I'm using this uh, on a regular day-to-day -day basis for my uh, as a regular carry carry sleeve for other pens as well so um, I really like this single pen sleeve uh, which they uh, provide complimentary with the pen. The pen uh, came in this plastic, this small plastic cover which they generally put in to prevent scratching. You have two cartridges and a converter has been lo already loaded onto the pen. Um, the inner, uh, the small platform can be raised and then you see a small um, warranty card as well as small booklet. I won't bother touching this and I'll just keep this aside so I'll just place the cartridges also just to mention um, the uh, the leather sleeve uh, is pretty well stitched uh, and although it is stiff but as any leather product weathers over time this really holds on to its quality um, uh, at least with me it has held up uh, since the last few months the inner uh, lining uh, is pretty soft and over a period of time uh, it really ages well and doesn't scratch your uh, s s the glossy pen body um, so that's become a daily carrier with my pens coming to the pen the pen is uh, it's beautiful I must say they've they've really paid a lot of uh, thought to designing this um, it is made up of uh, aluminium and uh, there's been glossy lacquered coat over it uh, it is pretty heavy I think it is weighing around uh, 38 grams and the length of the pen capped is also about 5.5 inches um, coming to the parts of the pen it's rose gold trimmed as you can see the finial has a lapis bard liar logo on this which is again in a glossy sheen to that the uh, this one you would appreciate that the cross section is uh, a square which uh, again seamlessly uh, goes into a rounded configuration and then again at the bottom it goes into a square configuration so uh, I really like the design uh, uh, of this pen they've, they've, they've made a real beautiful pen okay uh, the the retail price of this pen is around 8500 and it's it's kind of a mid range pen and i really think that they've they've given a serious thought to having uh, a presence within this range with this model so uh, performance wise we'll see <laughs> so uh, this has a small uh, very attractive turquoise kind of a band just beneath the uh, finial and then you see the 
this clip which is spring loaded pretty effective and it has lapis bud etched onto that and uh, the design of the clip is also pretty attractive it has all these geometric patterns you see and the, the same goes with the styling of the pen as well um, the clip is pretty functional obviously it's a spring loaded clip and uh, I really like the way it uh, catches on to your fabric um, you have lapis bud on the lower band and then three lines and England now here is where the cap ends and these three metal bands which are again in rose gold trims are onto the barrel the pen <coughs> opens up after about a single turn let me see it properly just about one turn and the threading is also been done very well uh, once you jack the two threads together there is slight stiffness onto this and then uh, without any squeaks or any sound it simply sits into place with a bit of a friction fit to it um, these threads i found were were very functional and very good and there you have the writing section the writing section of this pen uh, is tapered down uh, for my particular liking this grip section is um, about 9.5 millimeters and uh, I don't really am into thin writing sections um, so my personal preference uh, I would be uh, wanting something a bit chunkier to hold but then this uh, this is a, otherwise a very comfortable grip section for people who are into thin writing sections and then you have the lapis uh, barred logo on this steel nib and it's been plated this is um, a medium width you can see it mentioned at the side the nib feed bears number eight it's a small nib in comparison i think the size of this nib would be pretty similar to that of a Kaviko sport um, i'm not sure but um, uh, i'll see if i can have a picture of them together as i said the threads are uh, they've been cut out pretty well you have a very small step which is not at all um, sharp to the uh, while holding it doesn't affect you at all and you have three bands and then you have a small uh, metal band again at the back this is not a piston grip a cartilage converter cartridge converter yep I'm a doctor so cartilage just slips out of my tongue so uh, now one thing I found flawed with the uh, workmanship of the pin is that the cartridge you find the converter you find is getting stuck while I'm putting the barrel out and uh, sliding it in so I think there has been some issue with the way they have they've made their cartridges uh, the, the converters uh, the inner diameter of this is not fitting properly into this um, the, every time you put there is a bit of resistance to this so there's some issue with that uh, I don't know if it is a particular defect in this this model uh, this piece or it's all through their uh, lineup um, the uh, this converter is threaded and the, which is a good thing so um, over a period of time you won't just have it slipping out of this section time and again uh, which I find really good um, I think I'm lacking in my research but I'll do that and I'll, I'll put it in the description if these converters are universal but I think they are they are not proprietary I think they are universal cartridges and converters which you can use but then please make sure that the ones you use are threaded um, again as I said a uh, square bottom um, this geometric pattern ensures that this doesn't post see you have uh, this round and this then the bottom bottom is squared up so it, it doesn't just fit into it but the length of the pen uncapped uh, unposted is good uh, so you won't I think need to even post this pen it's a very good glossy lacquered finish onto a aluminium body but the pen is not light um, as I said it weigh, weighs 38 grams so without posting also you would find it having a bit of a hefty feel into the hand again as I mentioned the grip section is not once one I would really jump and hold on to I would yeah I'd be happier with the grip section in the dimension of somewhere around around 11 to 12 mm at least so there you go if you have to compare the dimensions to another pen I'd reach out to a Lamy 2000 there you have a Lamy 2000 how it fares in the dimension 
there you go and uncapped well the pen is slightly smaller in uh, in length when uncapped so we'll come to how it performs yeah <clears throat> so i generally do my reviews on a simple photocopy paper because uh, uh, in my profession as well as in general i don't think we have uh, access to choices of the papers for day to day writing so i am reviewing a lapis bard So my go-to ink is what I prefer. I'll slightly zoom out this to have a better view of the writing set. Oh. Um, this particular pen has not been tinkered by me at all and uh, the nib performed right out of the box and it, it is pretty smooth. The pen writes on to a slightly finer aspect than a European medium. Uh, I'll just compare it to a Lamy 2000 and you'll see that the dimensions of the, uh, that the width of the line is slightly lesser than that. The wetness of the pen is on to the moderate side. I won't say it's a gusher. Uh, uh, it's sort of on a drier side, but then this pen uh, writes pretty smooth. Uh, the initial skip which you saw is probably because I kept it um, open for some time, um, probably because of that, but otherwise the pen has performed pretty well. Uh, now see, there are a few things which, uh, a few nibs which I think basically are a joy to write on all the papers. You don't have to really hunt for a fountain fan friendly paper for writing those. Uh, this pen uh, is not, I think, uh, uh, clamoring for that. You, you, I find a bit of resistance of this nib uh, if I am writing it on uh, a usual paper. Uh, but if, if the paper is good, uh, then this holds its ground very well. A, a real charm to write with this on that. Uh, smoothness wise, uh, first I will come to the wetness. You see, uh, this particular part, if we keep it open uh, for some time, um, the nib uh, the ink dries pretty fast. Um, I would rate the wetness of this pen uh, just to be about a moderate one and uh, smoothness of the pen. Well, this time uh, Lapis has nailed it. Uh, the nib is very smooth. Um, I can't have any doubt about that. The, this nib is performed brilliant right out of the box. Um, just because the nib is running onto a drier side, maybe prob if I could tinker with it, I would have really wanted it to become slightly wet and then it would have glided across any paper I wanted. I, I hope so. I think so. Um, the nib is steel. It is very stiff and you can't expect it to have any bit of flex writing with it, um, can't have any line variation with this. Uh, there is no stub quality and uh, otherwise no skips, no hard starts. Um, as I came uh, talk to you about line variation, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the line width in comparison to a European medium. So there you have a lapis part. And then you have a 
Lamy. Um, so can you see this Lamy medium and this is lapis bud medium. Both are European nibs. Lapis bud generally runs onto the thinner side. I, uh, this uh, is not available in medium width. So you have to be content with a medium nib in India at least. Uh, I did. I checked their site and I'll put the link in the description. I didn't find any other variation of the nib apart from medium. But otherwise, overall, uh, this pen is serious. It means it means real business in the category they, which is in which it has been positioned. Uh, the designing is good. The detailing is very nice. Um, I really like the gold trims and the blue accentuation at the finial. Overall, a very nice package. People who are into thin writing sections, you will enjoy writing it. Maybe if you will uh, uh, increase the ink flow, it will just glide across. It will it'll be a good buy, I, I believe. That's what I think. And uh, thanks again to William Penn for the review. And uh, I'll gladly <laughs> send it back to you. With this, I end my review. And hope to see you next time.